Dental disease affects nearly 80% of adult dogs and 70% of cats in their lifetime. With February being Pet Dental Health Month, it is the perfect opportunity to talk about dental hygiene for our furry friends. Joining us now to discuss as a veterinarian for Wellness Whimsies, Dr. Danielle Bernal, along with Max, joining me in studio. Good morning, Dr. <laughs> Bernal. Good morning. I wish I was in studio with you today. <laughs> now, first off, Dr. Bernal, can you discuss with Max and I the role that dental health plays in our pets' overall health? Yeah, so we may think about their teeth and their dental health as keeping their pearly whites nice and white and making sure that that breath isn't too pungent. But there's actually mm -hmm. so much more that can be impacted if we're not supporting their dental health. Now, the first one is that plaque and tartar, if left unchecked, will start to build up. That'll work up to the gum lines, causing gingivitis, potentially loosen those teeth, cause a lot of pain and maybe even some tooth loss. Now, if you've ever had a toothache, you know that it's no fun. So that's going to cause behavior impacts and, of course, pain for our pets. We want to avoid that. The other thing that can mm -hmm. happen is when it's that advanced, the bacteria from their mouth can enter the bloodstream and cause systemic health problems such as to their heart, their liver and their kidneys. So all of those are things we want to avoid and we can do that really easily, which is just doing some regular daily at-home dental care and going and seeing your dog's dentist, the veterinarian, once a year. Great information right there. Now, Dr. Bernal, do you have any tips to help the pet parents start a daily dental routine for cats or dogs? Yeah, so there's lots of at-home choices. Now, one thing you can try is to try and brush your dog or cat's teeth. Use a specific dog or cat toothbrush and, of course, their tailored toothpaste. Never use human toothpaste. That can be toxic to our pets. For most pet mm. parents, however, when I start talking about brushing their pet's teeth, a look of fear takes over their face. <laughs> And don't be alarmed right. because only about 2% of pet parents are brushing their dog or cat's teeth every day. For the 90 other 98% and the rest of us, this is where you can use some great options instead. What I like to recommend is an all-natural, scientifically proven dental chew for dogs. These are a great example, like a Whimsy's Brush Z's. Now, dogs love to chew things. It's a species-specific behaviour, so they're getting a tasty reward. And unbeknownst to them, as they work it around their mouth, it's brushing up and mechanically abrading their teeth, just like a toothbrush. For cats, they're a little bit trickier. This is where you want to use something like a Whimsy's Dental Cat Treat. They're more of a porous, mm -hmm. crunchy texture that the tooth will sink into. You know, with a normal kibble, it'll break on the bottom of the tooth. This encourages it to sink in, work all the way up to the gum line and clean that tooth. The great thing again here is with fresh chicken as the first ingredient, three delicious flavours. Cats who are even fussy still love the taste of these treats. So they're all getting a tasty reward. You're feeling good and they're getting their teeth nice and healthy at the same time. Absolutely. And Dr. Bernal, who does not love whimsies? Whimsies are the best. Even my little pup, Max, he loves a little whimsy now. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dr. Bernal, what should pet parents be looking for when selecting a daily dental treat option for cats or dogs? Yeah, so I always encourage them to look for something that firstly is all natural. You know, unlike toothpaste mm -hmm. that we spit out, this is something they have to swallow. So you want to make sure it has yeah. really good quality ingredients. The other one is it's a functional product. It's not like a tasty chew where, you know, you can mix and match different brands and they'll all kind of get that great reward. This is something that you really want to scientifically clean their teeth. So with Whimsy's dog, mm -hmm. for example, Brush Seas has what's called the VOHC, Veterinary Oral Health Council Seal of Acceptance for both mm -hmm. Plaque and Tartar. That's kind of the easiest way of knowing that you've got a treat that's scientifically proven to really reduce Plaque and Tartar. And then, of course, for cats, you want to make sure that it really is scientifically crafted to support those four areas that vets check most, Plaque, Tartar, Fresh Breath and Healthy Gums. With both of those kind of insights, good ingredients, scientifically proven, you'll get a great product that really does clean their teeth and keep them healthy at the same time. And Dr. Bernal, it being Pet Dental Health Month in February, how important is it to keep our dogs or our cats their teeth clean? Because we as humans, we brush our teeth every day, which we should be doing the same with our furry friends. Absolutely. So if you're listening to this and thinking, oh, I haven't ever looked after my dog or cat's teeth, <laughs> Don't fret. It's never too late to start. In fact, Pet Dental Health Month is probably one of the best times to get going. Once you've started, make sure you're doing it every single day. So not just on a Sunday or when you remember. If you're brushing daily, mm -hmm. your pet should too. So when you're doing that, and of course, go see your veterinarian, you're really setting your pet up to have great teeth. Fantastic. Great information. Now, Dr. Bernal, tell us where we should go for more information. Yeah, so check out 
www.whimsies.com. That's W-H-I-M-Z-E-E-S.com. That's where you can see all the different recipes that we have available for our cat dental treats in all flavors. So you can meet every cat's unique taste preferences. And then of course, all the different shapes that we have at Whimsies for dog chews. Everything from an alligator, Herman the Hedgehog, our brush leaves and even sticks. And of course, in all different sizes to suit all the different dogs out there. And of course, lots of information on there as well for how to help support your dog's teeth the best or your cats. And then last but not least, if you're interested in buying them, go check out your local pet specialty store. They'll have them there and available so you can pick them up and take them home. Fantastic. We'll have that website appearing below. Dr. Danielle Bernal, thank you so much for joining me. And you too, Max, even though Max is like, I'm just going to do whatever I want to do today. You know, well, you know. <laughs> anyway, Dr. Bernal, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. See you, Max. <laughs>